This is JB's Baseball Cards, here today with another baseball card opening video. Today I have a blaster box of the new 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball. Uh, this is the Walmart version. My cousin Bob uh, picked one up uh, from a Walmart, so shout out to him. Uh, he's He uh, makes videos with me on the channel sometime, sometimes, and uh, I got some online. Those will be coming in later, so we decided to just trade one for one, one from the online and one from in-store. Uh, but look, really looking forward to this. This is my first time opening Heritage on the channel. Definitely one of my favorite products of the year. Uh, this year's design is from 1972. They usually make a design about 50 years um, in the past of current players on the old school design. So I really like um, this product. A lot like Archives, except this only has one design. And usually the players are posed in like their spring tra training pictures, just photo day. So not, not a lot of action shots usually. But I know this year has some in-action shots in the base cards. So let's see what we get. Here's the odds there on the back. You get, I believe it's, is it, it should be eight packs with nine cards in each pack. Usually you'll get an insert or a short print or something in the middle of the pack if you get one. So this is my first time taking a look at these, and that's a good first card to start off with. Luis Garcia and Christian Pache, rookie card. Uh, some of these, you get players on the same team, and sometimes you get them from the same league. And I also think sometimes you can get them from both National and American League. It's either two or three players with the rookie stars card. And there's what the back look, looks like. Yep, 1972, known for the... I think of Disco when I see these big, you know, letters for the team name up top. Really cool design to me. Brandon Lau, Shane Green, Mitch Moreland, Eli Jimenez. Sadly, he'll be out for uh, most of the season. I think he tore his pec muscle. And if you look on the back, the high numbers, I believe, are anywhere from 401 to 500. So if you get one of those, it's a short print. Here's the in-action cards I was talking about, Nate Pearson. It's a cool one. And I guess those have a puzzle piece, so that puzzle looks like Mike Trout. So that's pretty cool. If you put those all together, there's Austin Meadows, Cesar Hernandez, and Clayton Kershaw. Let's see if there's something different about that one. Maybe some of the inactions don't have the puzzle piece on the back. So what you're looking for out of these, the throwbacks are really popular. I they feature a player in a throwback uniform. And also the you also get autographs and relic cards in here. Here's a Mets rookie stars card. Jorge Soler. So you can tell like most of these pictures are from spring training, just players posed. There's Sims, Josh Lindblom. There's a postseason. They also have postseason cards, World Series, ALCS, NLCS highlights. Um, Christian Walker, Ramon Marquez. Pete Alonzo. Let me know if I missed a short print or a variation or anything that I didn't see. I'm not going to check the back of every single card. Usually just the cards in the middle are where you're going to get those short prints. Here's the rookie stars. Mackenzie and Bubik. Christian Yelich. Ketel Marte. Chance Sisko. There's a the Yelich in action. Here's one of the candy lids. Usually these are in Target Blasters, but this year they put them in Walmart, which I'm happy about. Got a nice Juan Soto, Candy Lid, Got Chris Sale, Wilmer Flores, and Taylor Williams. So I got a, was able to get a box, hobby box on tops.com, so I'll probably do a recap video of that uh, later on whenever I get it. Chris Taylor, Dylan Moore, Michael Brantley, Matt Kemp. Arbery Iot Leaders card with Ozuna, Freeman, and Machado. This will be a rare year where they uh, have, look at that, barely anyone over 50 just because of the shortened season. There's Nelson Cruz in action. The great one, I guess this is an uh, insert of Roberto Clemente. Yankees rookie stars and a Mookie Betts. Kind of have a Hard time finding the short prints. Usually I think they're one in three packs, so you're expected to get either two or three out of a blaster box. There's Julie Gur Gurliel. 
Joey Votto, World Series highlight card. Tommy LaStella for the A's. He's a former Cub. Jose Peraza. Altuve. There's another inaction. Some of these inaction cards are uh, have the puzzle piece and some don't. I'm not sure what the difference is or why they did that. But I do like the inaction cards better than just having every single card a posed picture. There's Carlos Santana. Odorizzi. There we go. Jose Quintana. Too bad he's not on the Cubs, but I'll always take a Cubs card. Love the design. Verdugo. Danny Mendick. There's a Juan Soto in action. That's a good card. Corbin Burns. Yadi Molina. And Mount Castle in action. He's a good rookie. So that one aside for a recap. Got two more packs to go. I ordered, I think, four or five blaster boxes. I can get Get one to my cousin Bob. Here we go. That's a good one. Mike Trout. Um, I got his uh, 2019 Heritage short print. High number. Graded PSA 10. I sent that in to grade myself, and that's a cool looking card. So happy to get that. Andy Trout's a good one. Jose Abreu. Joe Kelly. Mount Castle and Dahlbeck. That's a good one. Both of those guys have played pretty well. Cy Young Award. That's an interesting card. There's a nice Casey Mize and Tark Scooball. Some more good uh, rookie cards. So I'm doing pretty well on the rookies and the uh, good players like Mike Trout. Got that Juan Soto candy lift. I'm just not seeing the short friends. I'll have to go through um, later. Uh, I'll check the backs. Usually they're numbered 401 to 500. There we go. Javi Baez. Happy to get that one. As always with the Cubs. Doing a lot of checking on the backs. Can't seem to get them. This is a uh, baseball flashbacks, which I like. They also have like uh, history flashbacks, which show a lot of pop culture and I think politics as well. Pink Aaron, that's a good one. Yunjin Ryu and Kyle Lewis in action. So I'd say I did pretty well. I got a couple Cubs cards here with Javi and Quintana. Got a uh, candy lid of Juan Soto. That's a good one. Definitely an up-and-coming star. Number 23 out of 25. That's cool. And I got some nice rookies and inserts here. Got this Hank Aaron baseball flashbacks. Casey Mize rookie. Mount Castle and Dahlbeck rookie. Mike Trout. Ryan Mountcastle in action. And this, uh, the great one, Roberto Clemente insert. So I really like the design this year. Uh, I'll probably open up some more retail on the channel and uh, probably do a recap of the hobby box I get uh, whenever it comes in the mail. Love Heritage every year. It's right up there with Archives and Stadium Club and Series 1, Series 2, and Update Series for me in terms of the regular affordable cards that I like from uh, Tops every year. So let me know what you think of the design, um, what you think, uh, if you got any good cards from it so far, if you're able to find any at your store, and uh, just let me know what you think of the cards. I uh, hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.